Have you ever wondered how many types of cameras are out there? With such a fast expanding market and a demand for the camera, it's become hard to track how many cameras there really are in the world. Flickr community alone records using 42 camera brands and 2,639 models. To understand how we derived to such a huge expansion of camera use, we must go back to where it all started, the first exposure. First exposure was made by a French inventor, Joseph Nips, in 1826, using a bioencoded powder plate, a substance that hardens when exposed to light in a simple box camera. Historians estimate that it took him an eight-hour exposure time to produce the image. Although Nieps is credited for creating the first known photograph, practical photography was not perfected until 1836 when Nieps's business partner, Louis Jacques Daguerreau, invented a wet process known as the Daguerreotype. The Daguerreotype process involved a silver-coated plate made sensitive to light using a strong solution of salt water. The Daguerreotype process was revolutionary for its time because it reduced the exposure time to 30 minutes making photography possible, but still highly uncomfortable. The camera itself was a wooden box with a lens or a mirror. Focusing was achieved later by sliding the box, thereby changing the distance between the lens and the sensitive plate. A few years later, an English inventor, William Fox Talbot, revolutionized photography by utilizing a negative print, a process which is still employed by modern chemical photo developing. Talbot's calotype process allowed for the negative to be printed multiple times, opening doors to a consumer market in photography. 31 years later, in 1871, an inventor, Richard Leach Maddox, perfected the dry plate process which enabled mobile photography. Towards the end of the 19th century, George Eastman released the Kodak camera. The camera consisted of a simple wooden box with a lens, a shutter, and a crank to advance the film. The camera was pre-loaded with a film for 100 pictures and had to be sent to Kodak Company for developing and reloading. Eastman chose the name Kodak because he liked the letter K and the name was easily remembered and equally pronounced in all languages. Eastman opened doors to many camera innovations after Kodak. In 1923, German inventor Oskar Bambach designed the first camera to use a 35mm film the standard still used in today's high-end photography. The camera Leica 1 was compact, light, easy to operate, and yet provided high-end quality enlargements. In 1928, the world saw the first twin-lens reflex camera, the TLR. By adding a second focal point and size as the main lens, the user could see a better representation of the picture before shooting. The two lenses are connected so the focus is reflected in the viewfinder. However, since the user is looking through a separate lens, the camera is prone to parallax errors at close range. The first single lens camera was released in 1933 by Exacta. The SLR camera allowed the user to see the picture through the same lens that the picture is being taken opposed to the TLR. Due to this innovation, it was the first time the user was able to see the picture as it will appear on print, including focus and depth of field. Fast processing was later improved by Edwin Land, founder of Polaroid Corporation, when he created the first instant camera. Using a patented chemical process, the camera can develop prints under one minute. In 1988, the world of photography changed forever when the first fully digital camera was invented the Fuji DS-1P. The introduction of digital photography allowed for electronic storage, easier transferring, and better post-editing. Today the camera exists everywhere in our lives. The purpose of the camera has expanded from professional to personal and even to data tracking. With such a rapid expansion of camera technology, we can only wonder, what will the camera show us next? Thank you for watching.